I wanted to play a sport. I took up wrestling. And I found out after wrestling season that they had judo, high school judo going on. Um, one of the coaches, Harvey, he told me I should sign up. So then I said, oh, why not, why not uh, try it out? So I went to the dojo and that's how I ended up in this whole thing. I'm Harvey Fung. Uh, I've been coaching Jacob since he was a freshman in high school. Really struggled through his freshman and sophomore year. And um, at one point, I actually thought he was going to quit judo totally. But he just actually just kept coming to practice. He's talked to me about it before, about just trying to be the best person he can in this sport. I coached him from a freshman to his senior year. My first impression of Jacob when he first started, I noticed he didn't have too much talent but I noticed he was a very hard worker. So my freshman, sophomore year was like getting thrown into the pool and learning how to swim on my own. It was just so different, you know? You're not used to doing all of these like type of moves and trying to throw somebody, that was kind of hard. Oh, he started working really, really hard. Like to the point where he was almost throwing me, the coach of the team. And I, I just knew right then he's going to come up in this sport. So after high school, uh, I decided to come back because, I don't know, I just invested so much time into it. I worked really hard my senior year to try and take states. At the first match, I was out. Um, but after that, I, you know, I still wasn't satisfied with how I performed and putting in so many hours. I, I just had some compassion for judo after that. It was just like, I really wanted to do something with this. So that's how I ended up staying. Um, judo overall, uh, the meaning I can't explain in words. I don't know, it's just something I'm passionate about. To me, it's like brotherhood, family, you know. When you come home from a practice or you, when you're about to leave the dojo and you're talking story with your friends and how, how you, you kicked that guy's butt and he beat you and he caught you with this and you guys are just conversing about how you're going to get him next time. Just laughing and having fun, you know. And you guys are all enjoying it. And when, when you guys struggle together too, uh, judo is a sport that you can't get better at on your own. You need somebody to help. Jacob getting his black belt, now he is coaching Castle High School Judo team and all the things I hope I trained him with, he is training the new and up and coming judo cards at Castle High School. Yeah, about 95% of our high school team doesn't end up coming back to help coach. I mean a few do but Jacob was belonged to that very very low 5%. It wasn't really a goal to get a black belt, um, I was just putting in the hours getting myself involved with the judo community, refereeing, playing, competing as much as I can. I was having a lot of fun doing it and I guess they saw something that I didn't and I got promoted to the next level. Getting my black belt was a sign to me that maybe all this hard work and this hours that I was putting in was recognition and that meant something to me.